Hello, Christina Russell. Thanks for tuning into this video and happy Monday to each and every one of you. And notice I did not say happy Juneteenth. I am wearing my 1776 t-shirt and celebrate our real independence in a few weeks of the 236th birthday of our beloved country. Hope you all are doing well. Don't forget to subscribe and share this with your friends. So just from a little reflection compared to a few years ago when we started all this, uh, when the Biden administration decided to make this a federal holiday, and then I mentioned in future, uh, previous videos, ironically, uh, this time is the day after Father's Day, knowing that fatherless homes is a big problem with black Americans, yet they want to spoon feed some type of independence or freedom day, whatever they call themselves having it, to soothe and coddle, uh, just another way of coddle them, um, withholding the, the so-called reparations, which I don't think uh, they'll ever get. <clears throat> Rather, who gets it? Um, that's not my argument to say. I'm not interested in it. Um, I work for my own wages. <laughs> in fact, I just got an additional job because due to my responsibilities of having a vehicle and uh, there are things... Uh, you know, in case something happens, gas and all these other responsibilities. Uh, that was the purpose of getting this extra position. But as far as begging government, unless I'm in the military or some type of federal government job, then um, then they pay me because I work for it. <laughs> so, um, Charlie Kirk, if you want to go back and... Uh, in fact, you know, if I can find it, I can probably leave the link in the description box of his whole show. And he had a guest on there. Um, never heard of him, but he got deep into the crimes and uh, uh, why black men specifically go to jail. Um, and I'll tell you, I mean, they go there because they commit the crime. Simple as that. And it's usually due to the uh, due to drugs. Uh, the others come along with that. S S X assault, um, grape, um, deleting, taking someone else's life. Uh, that also falls along with it. And what's uh, really delusional. Uh, many of them um, repeatedly stay there over and over and over again. There was a case of a gentleman, while it's fresh on my mind, because I have other, other things to say with this guest on Charlie Kirk show, a guy by the name of Johnson. And uh, he was from Kentucky. He was in the Kentucky State Prison. And he started crimes at 13. Uh, apparently no father and as sickening as this I'm not going to go into details uh, you can find this case yourself um, that he enjoys um, sodomizing men more than food and drinking fresh water as hot as it is and as hot as it gets in these southern states He'd rather sodomize a man than have a drink of water. And that's probably he. I think he's out now, but uh, repeatedly, you know, and either ask him or as they usually do, they just take it. Okay. So um, going uh, digressing back to uh, this interview uh, that Charlie Kirk had. He, I'm glad that he brought this gentleman on. I think his name is Vincent somebody. And he had advertised his book. He dives into uh, the history of the Democratic Party, how they've uh, manipulated black Americans over the last 60 years. And prior to that, how they were really big on, I mean, Joe Biden is also guilty of this, of um, 
subscribing to Jim Crow and uh, slavery. Man, most of them were um, uh, Klan members and secret society and insist on being uh, Christ-like and thinking they were doing something for uh, the white race or whatever that is. Because <laughs> um, you really don't know someone's rights. I mean, define whiteness because you have Hispanics who appear white yeah, and you have uh, Asians who appear white. I'm not talking about the Southeast Asians that are they are Japanese, Korean, and Chinese. I'm talking about people from Jordan, uh, people from Morocco. Okay, they appear very fair skinned. So, uh, uh, <clears throat> defining race, if you look white in this country, they call you white. If you look black in this country, they call you black. So, yes, it's easier to say black or white in this country, okay? But it's just so interesting. Uh, this is better lighting. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's just so interesting how um, how we've come so far in this nation. And we talk about things that are not of importance. I can tell you so many times, uh, or the number of times, I think except one country that uh, blatantly, you know, disliked me because of my melanated content but anywhere else that i've been to uh, uh europe for example when they found out where i was from i was american so um it's uh i don't know when this is gonna end i mean it's officially a federal holiday so i don't think they can cancel it's like a mak day they're not gonna cancel those Okay, because it's federal. Now, if it were something like uh, like a Kwanzaa or uh, some, uh, like a Cinco de Mayo, you know, I mean, it's up to you to celebrate those. But now that they've made this a federal holiday now, I mean, there's, they can't really backtrack that just like with the same-sex marriage thing. I mean, I guess it could be overturned. Um... I mean, hey, Roe v. Wade, look what happened to that due to a leak in the Supreme Court. So, um, I mean, anything is possible, but uh, yes, uh, you know, we don't need any more of this racial divide because it's only going to get worse. In fact, speaking of violence, um, I think they said only one was murdered in Chicago or near there, Illinois, somewhere. I think over 40 people shot. I mean, you can backtrack and look at that. Just type June, Juneteenth and and the celebrate. I mean, with this new mayor, I mean, he already came out Friday afternoon, already starting the celebrations. And then uh, uh, Chicagoans, black Chicagoans also have this Bud Billy King parade, where's a celebration in August of going back to school. I think I only went once as a kid, but it wasn't as bad. This was like in the early 80s when... A couple of gangs came out. I mean, just go back to the movies, Colors. But um, I was on a float, and it was something very brief, and nothing happened. But, I mean, you now, especially, and they don't think about these things. You advise some rapper, <laughs> it's going to be chaos. It's going to be chaos. You go to a concert, there's going to be chaos. One more story, and I'm out. Uh I closed the video. There was a case of a young man. I just came across this last night as I was trying to sleep. And, um, yes, he, he got uh, deleted and found him in the uh, Chicago River as he was coming from some concert. I don't know which one it was. I don't know who was in town. I haven't lived in Chicago in, in several years. So, and when I am there, I kind of go in the months when it's not so bad. Like right now, it's too hot outside. Going there is ridiculous. The violence has already increased. But again, it's not about a specific race or blaming black people. It's just the restricted gun laws, few things they have to change. That, more policing, 
possibly the National Guards if, they, if need be, and change the political policies. Even if the whole city has to be not strictly Democrat, okay, there are some changes that can be made. And you'll have a city just like um, Rudy Giuliani, Rudy Giuliani, Giuliani, uh, <laughs> changed New York City several years ago when I was there. Um, but now it's gotten worse because they went right back to liberal policies. Christina Resso, pray for our nation. Pray for our brothers and sisters under the persecuted church. May the Lord bless you, keep you, and his light shine upon you. And I'll talk to you as soon as the Lord wills it.